Okay, y'all. Fire's going pretty good now. I'm just trying to throw some. Keep it fed. You have to keep this little thing fed. And on goes our water. Yeah, well, let me use that handle because uh, that fire is very hot. All right. She's on, y'all. She is on. Pardon my foot in the shot. The bass just flipped over in the water. It makes me want to go fishing now. So always important to bring your water to a rolling bowl and leave it, let it roll, let it roll, I should say, for at least a minute. Uh, after that, it can be, uh, you can cool it off and it will be drinkable. Especially since we ran it through the sawyer already. And I always try to like to keep the top on my cup because if you don't, you'll end up with ashes in your uh, in your water. Um, <laughs> so, which, you know, if you drink a few ashes, it's not going to bother you. Actually, active charcoal is actually good for the stomach, y'all. But uh, I try to keep my water as clean as I can. I come a little ripper. What you doing, buddy? So in an SHTF situation, this is how we're going to be purifying every drop of water. Uh, unless you have a Berkey, which I do have a Berkey, by the way, but I didn't feel like bringing it down here. It's, it's in the box, brand new in the box. I've got it in storage for uh, when SHTF comes. Never even opened the box, y'all. I just stored it. This is the uh, Pathfinder nesting cup that goes with the 32-ounce bottle. I like it. It has the little pouring uh, holes up there so you can just pour it without taking the lid off. And uh, so I love it. And you can see the steam coming through the holes and through the slots when your water is actually boiling. And on a good hot fire, y'all, it don't take but a minute with the lid on. It, it don't take very long. So while we got the camera rolling, these are the uh, lanterns I'll be using tonight. This little one is uh, it's going to go in, hang inside my tent. I've got the rain fly off right now. Uh, I just wanted to mainly get my sleeping gear in there and get it zipped up because keep the bugs out, y'all. So uh, I've got my little uh, solar lantern and I've got my little uh, Yuko Sprout, Sprout Hangout Lantern which I'll be putting inside. I will be leaving this one outside for like moving around light. So, uh, anyways, you can see my bug out bag is a doggone mess. I've got my shemog up there because I was using it for a sweat rag when I was putting the tent up. So I'm letting it kind of dry out a little bit. And uh, yeah, everything's everywhere. <laughs> Right now, the boys are uh, the boys have settled in for camp. Sometimes it takes dogs it takes dogs a few minutes to get to where they know where camp's at, so they they know they're not going to leave. So, uh oh, did my fire go out? I don't think she did. Maybe I need to stoke it some more though. But what I love about this stove is just put little twigs in there, baby, and she'll go, go, go. Yeah, she needs some wood. And, uh, I mean, it don't take literally a minute to go find a dead branch hanging on a tree. Well, that one fell out. And, uh, that is hot. Make some twigs to put in your fire to boil your water. See, I, should, I wasn't watching it when I was talking to y'all. We were showing you the lanterns and everything. I wasn't paying attention, so she got a little low on fuel. You have to keep these things fed. Be careful not to burn your fingers. These things get very hot. Try to keep everything pushed down and in as much as possible. What are you doing, Rip Rip? 
Are you having a bike roll there, son? <laughs> I have done no fishing yet. But uh, after I get some water cleaned, I'm going to let this cool. And uh, I'll have some water to drink. And I'll probably have a sandwich for supper tonight. And uh, just hang out, listen to the crickets and frogs and uh, the sounds of night in the country. It's one of my favorite parts of uh, camping. The one good thing about those uh, dry bags is uh, if it holds water out, it will hold water in. You can use it for you want to you want to be multi-purpose on as much stuff in your bag as possible. Uh, you can put your uh, dry clothes and your dry socks in that dry bag and keep it if it's raining or whatever. And uh, and then you can take all that stuff out. And I put all that in. Anyway, my tent stake bag was empty, so I put all that stuff in my tent stake bag and use the bag for water now. So. Need to be dual purpose on everything. And if that rain, uh, if I put that rain fly on and it's not enough protection from the weather, okay, I've got my military poncho I can put over and stake it down. I've got that 5 by 7 Arcturus tarp I can put over it and stake it down. Let me push this in here. Oh, it done fell out. Maybe I can get you to go back in. There you go. Yeah, just, I get to talking, y'all, and I forget to feed this thing. But what I like about these is they burn so pure when your fire's out and you're done. It's little bitty fine ashes. You can go out here, kick over some leaves, dump your ashes, throw the leaves back over it, and it's like you never even were here. So, I like that part. Hey, buddy, what are you doing, Sean? Hmm? What are you doing? Oh, buddy boy. Let me feed this fire here before we run out of stuff again. Yeah, get on down in there and burn, baby. Burn, baby, burn. Uh-oh, FSP done broke out and singing. Who do I think I am? Off the wall prepper? Lord of mercy. That was a joke off the wall. <laughs> Yeah. See, if I'd have kept this thing fed instead of talking, we'd have done had boiling water by now. She's a good one, though. Break that little piece off. Oh, yeah. She's a burning. So if you're at like a state park and you can't start a fire, maybe there's a red flag fire, you know, warnings and all that, you can use your little solo stove. You know, you might want to set a little wood block or a concrete block under it, but because uh, there'll probably be a burnt spot in that grass, but I really don't care. Uh, I'm here and we're on our own property, so it doesn't matter. Uh-oh, I hear water boiling, y'all. I don't see no steam yet, but we're getting close. Oh yeah, we're going. As soon as I see the steam come out, I'm going to quit feeding this thing. Let the fire go down a little bit. Then I will take and fold up my shimog over there and make me a little handle, take it down off the stove. We're at 9 minutes and 30 seconds. So I'm trying to keep these little uh, videos around 10 minutes a piece or, or less. So uh, hopefully we'll have some steam here in a minute. But uh, just kind of wanted to... Sh yeah, oh no, that smoke. But I'll... Uh, just wanted to show y'all that uh, how hard life is going to be. SHTF, every sip of water you drink, a lot of times it's going to have to be 
filtered and boiled multi-step process so something to keep in mind this HTF is gonna suck really really suck and as much as I love to come down here and camp and enjoy camping camping is one thing SHTF is something completely different uh oh we got steam y'all we got steam okay so the water's boiling I'm gonna quit feeding that I'm going to let y'all go at this moment while my son prepping, doing the things, trying to, oh look, our water's coming out the top, she's boiling over y'all, so um, appreciate y'all watching, we'll be back.